How to Debug Hidden Test Cases in HackerRank If you're struggling with those elusive hidden test cases on HackerRank, you're not alone. Let's break down how you can debug these tricky tests step by step. First, understand that hidden test cases are designed to check your code against various scenarios, including boundary values and error handling, without showing you the expected output. To start debugging, you can use debug print statements. Insert print statements like printf or console.writeline at different logical points in your code to see what's happening as your program runs. For example, if you're writing a program to find the sum of two integers and it's not giving the expected output, add print statements to check the values at each step of your code. When you run your code, these debug print statements will display their output along with the actual output of your program. However, let's remember that these debug outputs will be mixed with the actual output in the Your Output area, so make sure to remove or comment them out once you're done debugging to avoid any confusion. Another powerful tool is using custom input values. If the test allows it, you can click the Custom Input option to test your program with specific input values. This can help you see how your program behaves with different inputs and can be especially useful when combined with debug print statements. Just enter your custom input, run the code, and see the output and any debug messages in the Your Output area. Hidden test cases often include corner cases or different scenarios that your code must handle. Since you can't see the expected output for these tests, using print statements can help you figure out why your code is failing. For instance, if your code is failing a hidden test case, you might see an error message or an unexpected output that can give you a clue about what's going wrong. If you're still stuck, consider the logic of your code. Hidden test cases are there to ensure your solution is robust and handles all possible scenarios. Make sure your code checks for boundary values, handles errors properly, and covers all the constraints mentioned in the problem statement. In some cases, you might need to use a more systematic approach to narrow down the issue. For example, if you know your code is failing a specific test case, but don't know which one, you can use a binary search-like approach to identify the failing test case. This involves modifying your code to throw runtime errors or produce different outputs based on the inputs, and then iteratively narrowing down the range of possible inputs until you find the one that's causing the failure. Remember, Debugging hidden test cases requires patience and a methodical approach. By using debug print statements, custom input values, and careful analysis of your code's logic, you can identify and fix the issues that are causing your code to fail these tests.